Hello, everyone. This is Indy Smith. Welcome to the reality of love. Another week has gone by, and um, it's getting colder. And I know it's supposed to be warm up here in the quiet storm, but it's chilly outside. But uh, it's uh, another blessed week. Mr. Green, I know you all don't see him, but I have another, like, smooth, shiny, (laughs) low-cut gentleman sitting next to me. Y'all, y'all know Lenny. He's out and about. He's doing something special he's not supposed to be doing. But we're in the building. So, um, Mr. Ash Cash. Yes, ma'am. You have blessed us before. It's been like, what did we say, two years? Yeah, it's been, it's been a little minute. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised it's been that long. Yeah, it's been a little minute. That's I, okay. To, you know, to, you they, know. Can't, they can't keep great minds away Absolutely. too long. So, Absolutely. what have you been up to? I've been, I've been on the grind. You know, I've been, I've been working. I've been, uh, you know, putting out more, more books. So, I just I, released a... Another book uh, called What the FICO, 12, 12 Steps to Repairing Your I love Credit. It. I have a story about that little FICO thing. Yeah, so, so you know, I, I just put out the book. I also recently, um, you know, took on a role to, to run a credit union. So I'm a CEO and manager of a credit union in Queens. That's huge. Which is, yeah, it's it's it's, it's been, and, and I think that's been taking a lot of my time. I think I finally, you know, the passion finally met the paycheck where, you know, I'm really doing what I love. I'm, I'm touching the community that I really love to, to touch. So it's really just, uh, just helping people. People retrain their minds, you know, the, 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 you know, get your mind right and only get your money right. So it's okay. really, it's really good is, about that. What does that position entail? Like, it sounds big, but yeah. what do you literally do? Yeah, I think it's it's everything. It's from strategic planning. It's it's really, um, you know, I didn't realize how much, you know, when you go to school and you do math and you realize, you know, uh, all these all these equations that you don't really, ha- you thought that you'll never use in real life. I'm not using them. No, you're going to use I'm those. Gonna you're going to use them. I'm going to come you know? to you and let you use <laughs> Exactly. Um, but it's really it's really just kind of uh, figuring out, you know, you know, it's, it's providing the service. So it's helping people change lives, but it's also trying to see what works. Right. So the way you see what works is by, you know, uh, uh, running the numbers and seeing, you know, uh, uh, if you do this initiative, what effect is it having on people? If, you know, X amount of people get this loan, you know, so it's really um, trying to find out from a business standpoint, what's the best way to, you know, reach the most amount of people. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, it's, it's it's really just the, the same, you know, like any other business. When you start a business, it's really, you know, you're you're everything. You know, I'm the janitor. I'm the, right. you know, I'm the cook. I'm everything, right. you know. But, right. you know, it, you know the, the main goal is to make sure that we, you know, tackle poverty and change lives. So right. we exclusively, um, you know, work with within New York Housing Projects. And we're actually located across the street from Queens Ridge Houses, mm-hmm. which is the largest housing project in, you know, in New York. New York City. Yeah. I, actually, is, is it in New York in the world? I don't know. But it's really large it's really big i don't know i thought well i don't know if they're still around but i thought chicago had the largest yeah in in queensbridge i think they have forty thousand residents like it's 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 like it's huge it's big yeah yeah it's a it's a if you walk there i don't know if you've ever been if you walk you could you could literally get lost you know going yeah 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 yeah, exactly yeah it's if you walk through it's it's like you're like whoa hold on can i get out of here like it's you know yeah well i have a question like well i have two Mm -hmm. one is why do you think so many people don't know how to save their own money. Yep. I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't have a business if people were were responsible. Right. It's because of the irresponsible people that you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. But why why do you think that is? It's a mindset. You know, it's a mindset. I think that, you know, first you have to you have to understand a lot of times, you know, you know the saying the rich get rich the poor get stay poor. Yes. Um it's because of the mindset though. So the rich have a certain set of principles, a set of uh, you know, a certain set of the way things go in order to to continue to to be wealthy. Okay. Uh but but people who are poor, uh we've never had money before in our lives. So when once we do touch that money, we do not know what to do with it. We don't understand mm. that when we get a, a chunk of money, it's not to just spend it and lose it. It's to say, how do I make? How do I change my relationship with money? I think that's the problem, right? Or, or develop one. Exactly. You okay. know. So so okay. so it's, so it's really saying, how do I change that relationship? Instead of me working for money, how do I allow money to work for me? Right. And I think that's what people who have never and and you can't necessarily blame them too much because if you don't, you know, you don't know what you don't know, right? 
right? So if you don't know that you have to, you know, invest in things that are going to give you a return and that you should have multiple streams of income, things of that nature that wealthy people just know off, off jump. They right. know it's a lifestyle. It's, it's a part lifestyle. Of their lifestyle. Exactly. They right. know that their first check, they're not going to buy. Uh, a, a Benz or, you know, they're not going to buy the, the luxury car, the jewelry or whatever. Their first big check, they're going to buy investment property and make so that. So they can make money off of their money. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So. Well, we're talking about money, but this is a relationship show. Absolutely. So before we get into the topic tonight, we, we do have a topic for tonight. And it, I mean, this might be an issue as to why people, you know, the topic. Why do you think money is such a huge factor and breakups. Oh man, I think I, I should I, I money wanna... should money really should money really matter when it comes to matters of the absolutely. heart and love. Absolutely. Okay, break absolutely. it down. Absolutely, hey. absolutely. I think I, I want to say the numbers are like eighty two percent. Like the, it, they're huge. Yeah, I think it's eighty two percent relationships end because of money, but it's huge. You know why? Because I think that if you don't, it, it, it's it's all about. A bond, right? So a relationship is not only about like like why do you love somebody? It's because you're attracted to them. You're trying to grow with that person. You're trying to build with that person, right? Okay. And the majority of growing, the majority of building is economic. Because it's great that we love each other and we do all the other superficial things that don't necessarily, I mean, that matter in a relationship. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, if we're not growing together, if we're not building, you know, a strong household so that we can do the things that we like to do together, or if we, we're ready to build a, a family together and that we could take care of our kids and show them, you know, what, what, what a great life looks like. And, and even if we don't want kids, mm -hmm. you know, there, there are a lot of things that money can afford you mm -hmm. um, that if if you don't if you're not on the same page then it's it's going to lead to breakup it's going to okay. lead to frustration okay. so it's it's important that you know and, and I'm not saying that when you get into a relationship you have to be on the same page as your partner but you must understand their money personality mm -hmm. and they must understand your money personality and you guys have to come to a happy medium that's going to work for both you can't say I'm going to do what I'm going to do with my money you're going to do what you're going to do with your money it's not going to work. You could try to do it. I've seen people who try to do it. Why? It doesn't work. Why? Because at the end of the day, it, 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 it first, it's the, it's the main source of separation, right? Okay. Because let's say, for instance, if you and I are dating and you're making more money than me and I'm making less money and now, you know, you, you hold the key, right? You hold the key to the relationship. So okay. now when you're saying, oh, come on, let's go out, right? So you're not going to, you know, if you're making six figures and I'm making 40000 a year and you want to go... To you know, to the child, I want to go to the regular Chinese store, but you want to go to Philippe Chow's. Then I, then I need to pay. Right, but may, maybe, but see, what you don't realize though is that because it's your money and my money, my ego gonna say, Nah, we're not going to Philippe's. I can't afford Philippe's. Right, so now okay. there's a there's a there's a secret resentment because yes. now okay. I'm, I think you're taking a shot at me. I'm like, well, she, she know I can't afford Philippe's, so well, now she says she want to go wait, to Philippe's. Well, hold up, right? before we decide, on unless the we restaurant, go on, yep. you already knew and I already knew what I made. Right. So, so are you saying that? my six figures and your five figures, I have to live the see, lifestyle. I don't even like the way you saying that. <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? No, I don't you, even like the way you just said that just he now. Said it. You said it. I didn't say it. Like I'm, just, Gina, I'm just I'm just I'm just saying like so who so so then what do you do? Like how do you how do you fix that? Because what if you're happy in yep. what you're doing and what you're making and I'm happy and I don't care if you don't make as much. Right. So how do you how do you fix that? How do you make no, it I so think, it's I think, I think you you fix it in sort of understanding, right, those money personalities, understanding, oh, okay. you know, how I spend money and how you spend money, right? So you might have a money personality that says, because I make so much money, right, so much more money, I want, let's say, the finer things, right? Mm -hmm. And but, but if you watch the way I spend money because I don't really make that much money and I'm a little modest in how I do things, maybe – you know, you meet me at my level. Maybe when we go out, you don't, you know, you, you kind of stay at our, at that level. Maybe it becomes more inclusive where it's like, you know, it's, 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 it's not put in my face that you make more than me and vice versa, right. you know, because, okay. and, and that's what happens. I think that even but every once in a while, I'll make you spend like a G on a pair of shoes. Right, and, why not? And make you know what I mean? Every, 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 one, you know, every, every once in a while, but you know, it, you know, it, I think one of the things what happens is that when, you know, we feel like we're in a silent competition sometimes, you know, and, and that's what it is like, okay. you know, and, and, and that might grow resentment if we're not, you know, if we're not together, if we're not one, if we're not making money right. decisions together, like for okay. instance, if you, 
you say, you know, oh, you know, babe, let's let's go get a car or something like that. And I'm like, all right, let's, you know, let's go to the Toyota dealership. And you like, nah. <laughs> Why the, wait a minute. First of all, <laughs> you, like, you see the camera set up right now? Like, you see the sincerity in his face? I'm, and he's, <laughs> he's smiling because I'm looking like Toyota. Exactly. Mind you. A camera? Look, this dude said a camera? No, 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 no. <laughs> look, I'm all for th- getting thrown under the bus yep. on this show. Y'all yep. know. I don't even drive. Yeah. So if it's the reddest hoopty, I'm happy. Okay. Right. I'm like, please <laughs> yeah. don't even try it. Don't try it. I'm just, you know, Camry. I like Toyotas. Yeah. I want a 1987 yep. Land Cruiser. Okay. Yeah. That's. So know, I'm that's happy. Dope I'm happy with you know, you know a classic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you. You're in trouble, man. All right. So I mean, that does that does make sense because that underlying resentment can like lead to other things. Right. So I get it. It's just respecting and understanding where the person is coming from. Right, absolutely. And, you okay. know, and, 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 it's, and it's really, you know, it's understanding and it's really just kind of moving even, you know, even though it's two separate incomes, but moving as one. Moving together. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Oh, well, thank you. Because I didn't, because my thing is like love conquers all. And right. I mean, to some extent, I'm, I live in, oh, wait a minute, hold up. First, okay. Dante wanna, Thomas in the building. Yeah, Face please. Because like he, he's yes. like sucking his teeth yes. right now. Sure. So love does not is, conquer all. does not pay the bills. Uh-oh. Okay, not, love might not pay the bills, but hug, can't hug the landlord. You, could, you can pay the bills and still be alone in the house. So what are you going to pick? Like, some what? type of love in there by yourself. You love yourself in the house. Oh, yeah. Dante. He's bringing me down, man. He's bringing me down. <laughs> no, but down. you know what? No, but, 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 but here's the thing, right? So, you know, love doesn't conquer all, but, but... There has to, and, and, and this where, this is where understanding each other's money personality comes in at, right? So, for instance, let's say, for instance, if we're together and, you know, I take more risk, right? So, I, so let's say, for instance, I take more risk and I'm willing to say, you know what, you know, I'm going to quit my job and I'm going to go after my, my dreams and my passions and, and babe, you're going to have to hold it down while, while I do that, right? Okay. If that happens, right, that's, we got to understand each other's money personality, right? right? And right. that's where love is going to conquer where I need you to ride with me, though. I need you to hold me down. I need you to believe right. in me. I need yeah, you to say, right. you know what, I'm not going to put permanent energy into temporary things. This is temporary. I know that he's out here focused, trying to get a goal done and he and he's sacrificing so go ahead you know what i'm saying and right. and, and don't make me feel like you hurry up you got to make that you know what i'm saying so so th- there is you know and so i'm not saying it's all about the money because it won't last that way either right. if it's only about the money it will not last there has to be a level of support because no matter what happens you know we know how, how it works whether whether you're entrepreneur whether you work nine to five whatever you do you know if you don't have other streams of income set up your your money your six figures could Dwindle. Dwindle and easily go away, you know, and, and, and when that happens, you know, and, and, and let's go back to that example. You know, I make 40000 you make a hundred, and then now you're going to Philippe's and you're making me feel, you know, however you're making me feel. And then let's say, you know, there's a massive layoff. You now not, you don't have that $100,000. Right. Now I'm the main bre- breadwinner. You know what I'm saying? If we didn't have that money personality talk and if we weren't, you know, meshed together as it relates to money, now I got the upper hand. Now, you know, it, 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 it's going to be that, ha, now, now I got you. Right. Instead of it being, hey, babe, it's all good. This is a, a temporary setback. Let's do it. We're going to ride out on this 40 grand. We're going to ride in, 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 hey. in, this, in this red Toyota Camry. You know what I'm saying? And hey. we're just going to make it happen. You know okay. what I'm saying? So there, there, there has to be love. You know what I'm saying? There has to be romance with the finance. Got you. Got you. All right. So let's get. So the topic of the night was why is it? Why? Why is it so hard? And why are we so hard on each other when it comes to like finding love and meeting new people like why are we so closed off why are we not open to meeting new people and finding love um i have i wrote down a couple you know things off of comments off of facebook thank (laughs) it's very entertaining tonight (laughs) on facebook so why why do you think that is i mean you know we have money issues you know a young lady called earlier and she said that it was because of our upbringing and the times and maybe the environment that we're living in mm-hmm. that it's so hard. Like, people people don't have the money to, like, go out and spend the way 
they think they should because right. of the media, Absolutely. because yep. of how things appear to be, because of how men and women think things should look when we go out. So me, she made a good point. Let me let me let me tell you, man. I think that social media is the gift and the curse, right? Mm. The social media makes everything amplify. So somebody may be riding the train and there's nothing wrong with riding the train. I rode the train for most of my life, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with riding the train, but they're not going to snap Instagram pictures riding the train. I do. I mean, and, and more power to you. We need I more people like that. On the train. Right? We need more people doing that. But what, but what I'm saying is that a lot of people, what they do is they perpetrate. They show you. That pride. Uh, right. They, they got pride and they want to show you a, a certain type of lifestyle. So by showing this lifestyle, you know, when, when, when people are looking to for relationships, now all they see is visions of nice things and people want to do things and right. all this stuff. They don't, nobody's Instagramming the free stuff. Right? right? So so, so, so if, I, if, if I'm looking for a, a date, I'm not going to say, hey, let's take a walk on Central Park, right? Because you might clown me on Instagram, right? So you might you might tweet that out. You might hashtag, you know, ain't got no money. You know what I'm <laughs> so 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 it's I think that people are so people don't want to be themselves so bad yeah. that it's hard to I don't even know who you are. So so I can't I don't even know how to approach you because you don't you're not even you. You're you know hashtag your hashtag such and such. <laughs> right. Hey, I mean, okay, so shout, okay, shout outs to a couple of people. Let I want to get to the good people. So Tyrone, I'm putting you on blast first. Tyrone says it's hard because he has dated black women. Oh, oh shout, shots fired. fired. Tyrone Williams. Tyrone, you put your well, he put his government. I'm putting it out wow. there. Wow, that's so dirty. So then Madison Avenue commented and said, um. I think she was a bit upset. She didn't she didn't really I'm gonna make you sound good, Madison. Um, she didn't put it out there right, but she says, I bet he's an Uncle Tom. Oh wow. Oh man. And uh called him an idiot. And so I'm gonna say uh I kinda agree with that. The idiot part. Okay, I, I was, about the yeah, Uncle yeah, Tom. Right. But uh really? Do we have do black women have a bad rap? No, I mean I I think I think yes, and I and I, but it's not the truth though. Okay. You know, I think that and, 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 you know, black women, black, you know, black men, all, you know, if you if you look at um, how we are being portrayed, I think that there is um, a stigma out there that all black women have attitudes and they are, you know, they give you trouble. And, you know, I've, and, and I've, I've actually I'm sorry, fellas, I'm not dry snitching or nothing, but I've heard from the guys who have dealt with other, you know, cultures, cultures um, that it's easier dealing with you know, the other cultures. And, um, you know, I just, I just, I just think that it's the type of women that you're dealing with. You so can't bucket black women. If you, all you're dealing with is a certain set of black women. Well, so. what's the, what's the picture? Cause I, I have men here right now. Yeah. What is the picture of easy? Yeah. What does that look like? Tay, talk to me. What's, what's easy? What does what's easy, easy look like in a man's, in a man's world? It's not, it's no such thing as easy. It's a catch 22. Cause if it's easy is quiet, mm -hmm. then quiet is sneaky. Then mm -hmm. sneaky is this, that everything has a catch 22 to it. Yeah. Man. And, 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 and you no know what? I think, thing. I think that, you know, um, when men, you know, men want to be the king Okay. Right, and we want to feel like we're the king that we run the house, and you matter, and we, and we and, matter, and you're you're va you're valid, you're right. needed, like right. Your position is wanted. Exactly, Got and it. I think, and 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 again, I think that what happens though is that a lot of men deal with black women, right? And and again, it's not all black women who who are this way, but they deal with black women who are not used to allowing the man to be the king. So mm. when they deal in these other sort of cultures who are groomed, right? They're groomed to, to sort of, and when I say play a position, I don't want it to sound, you know, derogatory, but they play a position to the point where, you know, you're the king, right? Like if you ever play chess, the king is the most important piece, but the, the queen is the most powerful, right? right? right. So the queen has the power, but the king is the most, mo the, mo the most important, right? right? And so the queen protects the king. Right. And I think that sometimes in other in other cultures, they're groomed with that concept. But, you know, there, there's many reasons why there are some black women who maybe didn't have a healthy relationship in the household or, you know, didn't have a father figure or what, whatever the reasons where they are the strong black independent woman who wants to be equal with the man. And when I say mm -hmm. equal, I mean from from a, you know, 
men have testosterone. We have ego. We have mochismo and all that stuff. So we want to feel like, yo, I'm the man. I matter. And I think that from uh, speaking with a lot of the, a lot of the fellas, I think that's the biggest issue is that you know there's always this you know back and forth and always this you know extra competition. strength competition opposed to it just being. You know, and again, please, I don't want no hate email. I'm not when I say play your position. I'm saying it in a way. Every, no, and I will back you up on yeah. that. Every person, and then every um, every genre has has a, a position, right? Like if if you don't play a position, then the whole house falls. Exactly, down. absolutely. So you, I, to be offended by that means you don't understand that concept. Like I don't, as a woman, I don't want. To play your position, right? Exactly, and then vice what's versa. Your point? Like, right, what's exactly. the point of you exactly. being absolutely. there? Like, it, so yeah, no, putting that out there is serious. Like, yep. everybody needs to play their position, and I think, I mean, you know, in all fairness to women of color, I think sometimes we play a lot of roles in absolutely. the household, and we have to. So, for someone to come along and um take their position on right or or reclaim it right it's like it has uh, to be it has to be genuine right and just yep. and with i would say um tender firmness right but but you know also though i think a, a, a lot of times though because people are living other people's lives meaning that they have watched other situations and other relationships and things of that nature right 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 so, right. They, right. so they start it out there you know? exactly so they start trying to be in hashtag right exactly right exactly. Right. <laughs> right exactly so i think it's just too much some females are too independent yeah that's basically what, what does that mean like, what do you mean by that independent like they take care of this to take care of that but then when it comes to a relationship they still want to take care of everything instead of allowing a relationship to break into the partnership. Mm -hmm. and, and and that's a key word though, right? It's a partnership. So a relationship, you cannot be independent, right? Because independent means you do your own thing, I do my own thing. We need to be interdependent, meaning that India is Indy, Ash is Ash, but together we are interdependent. Mm -hmm. So I have my strengths, I bring something to the table, you have your strengths, you bring something to the table, and together we intertwine, right? It's a partnership, Absolutely. right? That's why a, 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 a successful company has a CEO, has a CFO, has a, has a, has a chief COO, all that, right? Because everybody plays a position. The chief executive officer he's the head but he's not you know he's in charge right so he's the head of the the company but he needs his finance guy he right. needs his operations guy right. and i think that's what happens is that you know like dante said is that you know a lot of times people and it's not only women men do it also is that we're independent in the in the in the relationship and we feel like we got this so i'm gonna put this on my back right now nah, it's a partnership you guys have to work together because you know without the teamwork the dream won't work takes you know? away then the person feels like they pointless so they have right. no purpose still they feel insufficient right. Exactly. Right. so exactly. let me ask you gentlemen this so in getting into relationships um i know you're 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 totally you're committed yep. do you Watch agree to miss cash oh hi miss cash you know what we need to meet miss cash nah you're good you know no we need to meet her <laughs> you're good you're good come on you're the, you're the king but yeah. i know she's holding nah, a lot you, down yeah she, nah she hold nah she i'm um, she 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 hold me down, like, you know, wow. she Bonnie, you know, Bonnie and Clyde, who's Bonnie, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, she hold me down. Bonnie's the chick. She's, she's the chick. All right, yeah, so she's, she's Bonnie. Yeah, she's Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, So, would you, would you, um, would you suggest to men that they choose women they can trust their finances with? Because I hear a lot of times, like, um, yeah, I married her or I'm with her, but she doesn't know how much money I right. have. I think that's the biggest mistake that could ever happen. Why is her. that? Because all right, so I'm a, so I'm a so if you can't if you can't trust her with your money, don't be with her. Absolutely not. Basically, yeah. that's, that's what if you can't trust her with the money, like that's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? I, it's a, it's a, a, again when you're in a relationship, you are starting a business partnership. Imagine if you was the CEO. Says and, sh shout out to Lenny. Lenny b believes the same. He right. sees it as a business. It's a business thing. because let's say you're the CEO of the company and you're your finance person, you don't trust your... What? 
How? Right. Like, how can you how can you build something together? And and think about this. Like, I've always said, if you're in a relationship, if you're in a committed relationship, all right, maybe dating, you don't mix the money together. Mm -hmm. But think about this for a second. If we're married, I make 40000 you make 100000 That's false. No. You know what happens? We make 140000 We make 140000 We make 140000 even, even more, you on, you on marry and you on child support, both of y'all got to pay for that. Right. Y'all are as one. So basically that... That's coming out of her pocket, right. too. Right. So that's a partnership on that. No one right. I mean, you... Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, oh, wait. <laughs> what do you mean? He stuck um, that in there. Huh? I'm sneaking it out I don't... Wait, because you're taking me... What, what if there's no... Cho what are you saying? Look, we've talking about reality. Right. right. Like, people got kids okay. over where they get oh. married down the line. Reality of love, baby. This is Basically, like you oh. said, everything comes together. If you yeah. can't trust her with the money or yeah. she can't trust you to you know, take care oh, of you, you got to take wow. care of us. Debt. Right. Crazy. Debt. Right. Debt. Everything. And that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that it has to be a plan. It can't be, well, I got good credit and that's your right. stuff. Right. So, right. So what winds up happening is that, again, think about this for a second. If we're together, I make 40000 and you make 100000 and it's not that you, it's not that way. It becomes we make one forty. Let's budget the money together as one forty, right. and let's, let's move right. to one forty. So what happens when you know you make a raise, right? But you get a raise at, at, at work, and now you're making one twenty. I'm not like, oh my god, she keep widening the gap. Nah, I'm like, yes, babe, let's do it, right? right? Because now right. we can reach our financial goals together. Because we're gonna have to have financial goals. We're gonna have to say, all right. We like this house, but we want a bigger house, or we want to become homeowners, or we want to get this type of car, whatever right. the case may be. So we need to be able to budget together. So what happens when I make sixty thousand now or eighty thousand now? There's no resentment. There's no competition. I'm not trying because to because we're working together exactly. And your your man hours, your time, your effort, your holding down a family. Like it it means something. Taking, taking a baby, you know, holding down a baby while you while you out, while you, you know, grinding and doing around, what you're yeah. doing. Like me holding on to the baby and you know and paying you know daddy daycare like. Like that's part of that partnership. Right. So you shouldn't come back and put it in my face that, oh, no, but like that, that's my, my sweat equity equals money. Yeah. Right. And, and people yeah. don't, people don't look at that. People don't. Child care is expensive. Child, exactly. child care is child crazy. Care. Child exactly. Like, care, man. It is like just, it, it, yeah, it's scary. Trust me. I know. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah fast, oh. fast the baby TJ. Oh, dear. It was, it was costing us a grip, but it's all okay, good. Okay, well, though. I hope you all are Harvard taking University, this all you know in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the, that's the vision. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's five right now, but we think at Harvard, and, you know. Well, I hope you're working on, her, on, working on the brain because it's like 4.0. Oh, yeah. From no, what that's... I hear, it's like the rumor is like, you know, I mean, they have some like special cases for like. No, nah, that's why I'm trying to but... make all the connections I, I can make right now. My daughter, my daughter, we don't watch TV Monday through Friday. She, you know, and and, and again, fast out to Miss Cash. Like she hold it down. Like she's serious about education. So my daughter, honestly, I'm not, I'm not, you know, of course, I'm a proud father. But my daughter's five years old. She's in kindergarten. She reads on the second grade level. True story. I love it. True story. I love so, it. Yeah. And unfortunately, I mean, fortunately and unfortunately, though, like the pressure is on for children today because these tests are crazy. Yeah. These little yeah. babies are walking around with pulleys. Yep. I mean, really? You have a suitcase pulling, and you're in kindergarten. Yep. Like what? Like what are they doing? But to but them? no. But parents, stop Change. letting your your little babies twerk too, though. Let make make them read a book. Oh, stop oh. Make, stop letting them twerk. I'm glad you. Uh, yeah. yeah yeah yeah. Like make make them read a book. Why they why they why they know why they know the the, the full verse to 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 Drake song and they don't know the ABCs. Yeah, ABCs like, right. Nah. right. Yeah. Well, I'm glad nah. I'm glad you're saying it. Yeah, because I'm a parent, so like, yeah, like it's not like that's not cool. Well, we have some more comments from yeah. Facebook on on the on the topic. Um, Sharon Parker says, "Well, the topic again is why is it so hard for us to be open to love and meet new people and yeah, just be open to meet new people and want to receive like love in our lives." And um, Sharon says, "Past experiences have you have taken more of um, have you taken a more guarded approach?" For fear of history repeating itself, especially if you've been hurt. So, I yeah. mean, that's one. Um, unfortunately, this is Nadine Jones. Unfortunately, most adults are damaged. Wow, is that true? No, I agree. I think I think that a lot of um, you know, yeah, experience. I think that a, yeah, I think a lot of people um, go through a I lot. You B know, word. trying to figure. You know, they're trying to figure themselves out, and they go through a lot. They they get hurt, mm -hmm. um, and you know, unfortunately, they take 
that hurt, that past experience, and they, you know, bring it on to, to, to their next experience. But what I would say is that forget yesterday, right? Not saying, you know, you forget about, you know, use your past experiences as lessons, right? So now you know what the signs look for, you know, look like, but don't don't take it out on the next person, though, right? Like, you you know, now you're a little wiser. Don't be bitter, right? Is be that, better. Is that okay? I, I, I totally agree. Yep. But what if you're in a new situation and there are, because you take yourself with you everywhere you go. Yep. So what if you have a tendency to choose maybe the same characteristics in people? Right. And what if you see something that comes up that reminds you of the other person? You're like naturally going to think, oh, and not, not, and not mean or want to take like, all of that out on a new person, right. but it's going to alert you. It's going to be a red flag. Right. And so absolutely. You, you, but the red flag. No, I, I think you walk away. I think that, you know, our gut feeling tells us everything. I okay. think that, you know, I am a, a thousand percent. I believe in energy. I believe in, you know, intuition. I believe in your, in your gut feeling. I think that if, if, if something feels that way, if it feels it similar, is what it, is. it is what it is. I think, or- or oh, this could be your chance to sit up there and learn from your mistakes. So, I mean, do it right this time. Right. Being as that didn't work the first time for you, you see something that's the same, you could either adjust or, like you said. Yeah, you I, I, you know, I, I, think, I think, you know, I really think that, you know, it's like if you, let's say you found your, your person at the club. Right. And then, no, I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like, okay. you, you know what I mean? You, you, right. you, you know, you, you found somebody at a club um, and then they had a certain characteristic about themselves. And then the next person you find is at the club and they have the similar characteristic. I, I say stop going to the club. Stop Find a different people. type of, you know what I mean? Right. So, 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 I, so I really think that, you know, you know, yes, you can take your, you know, you can take your baggage with you in a, in a way where you don't forget. Mm-hmm. But when that, when that spider sense starts saying, whoa, 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 this feel, yeah. then you got to walk away, I think. And that's what happens. What happens is that people, it feels the same. And they say, well, I'm going to do this different. I'm going to try this out. Da, da, da. And, and you wind up trying to fix something so much okay. that it winds up being damaged no like if you know you know what i'm saying like if if i bought a pair of shoes and you know I, too small. they were too small i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go back to the store and buy a size 12 and say well this time i'm gonna walk different no i'm gonna buy a 13 this time i'm gonna buy a 13 and 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 at the outset it has to feel right i'm mm. not gonna walk out the store with another 12 and try a different brand and try to force myself in the beginning Right. To 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 fit into a no, I figured it out. A twelve don't fit, mm. so I'm not gonna go in the store and buy another twelve. I'm gonna buy a thirteen this time. And when I walk out that store, if it even feels snug, I'm gonna take them off and I'm gonna say I need another pair of shoes. Absolutely. I was I was watching someone. I'm not gonna put it out there, you know, promote <laughs> that brand. But I was watching someone, and he said, you know, ten gallon people need ten gallon love. Mm-hmm. A lot of 10 gallon people pick out pint people yep. and try and make them more than what they are. Right. And then they don't exactly. get it. Exactly. You don't feel full. Exactly. You're starving. Yep. And the pint is looking at you like, what's wrong with you? Exactly. Exactly. So exactly. I, I totally 100% agree. Yep. So, you know, tomorrow we have a Spirit of New York Midnight Cruise. It's the Quiet Storm Cruise. And it's a, it's a singles mixer. Okay. So what advice would you give like some singles getting together and what 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 should the first conversation be? Yep. Dolo. What is this com what? Dolo. I Stop can't. thinking about it. Yeah. Everybody yeah. thinks too much. Yeah. Honestly, man, you single yeah. as it is now. You wonder why you're still single because yeah. you keep trying to pick and decipher right. what you want to do. I agree. Just go live. Yep. If they if it happens, it happens, it don't it don't, right? Man. Really? I agree. No, no, I, I agree. Yeah. I think I think that what happens is that when when single people go out, they go out with a mission. Like I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna find mm-hmm. this person. Oh, uh, and then what what winds up happening though because this is a single cruise, it's single people. So I have to. So they put that pressure on themselves mm-hmm. that they have to go out and find somebody at that cruise, right? So as yeah. they as they're talking to different people and they're going around it, again, it's that it's that size twelve, right? They're going to the shoe store. They're trying the same shoes out, but they they have they see the shoe, but they they said I got, I just walked into the shoe store. I have to buy a shoe no you don't right if you go to the <laughs> shoe store and all they have is size 12 even if it's a sale it's right even if it's a sale right walk out without shoes so i you know I, I agree i think that in the cruise tomorrow they need to go in there and say you know what i want to go and have a good time 
No pressure. I'm not going there to find a date. I'm going there to have a good time. And while I'm having a good time, if I happen to bump into somebody or start a conversation with somebody and and that person piques my interest, we're going to talk and we're going to continue to have a good time. If we can have a good time together, then maybe Mm. we're going to try and take it to the next step and maybe exchange numbers and you know but but the take the pressure off you're not going tomorrow to the singles boat ride right you're not going tomorrow to find love no you're going out no to find to have a good time okay and if there's an attraction and somebody and, and you guys are laughing and you get to know that person. Oh, what do you do? Oh, what did I do? Oh, ah, ah. and you start. If you meet somebody's representative. Right. You know, so if you, <laughs> so if you start, yeah, yeah, you know, man. so if you start, mm. you know, having that conversation and it, and it flows and it feels good, then, then rock with it. If it doesn't, don't be afraid to walk out without buying a pair of shoes. Go back to the bar. <laughs> That's it. Go back to the bar. I can't. Mind, I right? can't. Jay, I love it. Let me oh, see if face, I have any more. Com- okay. So, Shonda, Yvette. Okay. I didn't even write everything down that she said, but she had me in stitches. So, her reason for not, you know, wanting to meet new people or being open to find love ugh, lies, deceit, cheats, <laughs> baby mama drama, oh. men childs, headaches. Heartache, heartburn, panic attacks. Oh, heartburn. <laughs> that's okay. out to you. You know what, Mama? Cook. You just maybe she can't cook. <laughs> heartburn. heartburn. I have heartburn. I can cook. <laughs> You're in the wrong spot. No, man. that means you stressed out. Need yeah. some tum. I can't. Tum. <laughs> you know what? I I, wa- I would invite you out to the cruise, but I I don't know if you're gonna be like a killjoy. Oh, yeah. But. For those of you who do want to come out to the cruise tomorrow, just go to spiritofnewyork.com slash quiet storm. You can, you know, find the tickets and come join. I'm I'm going to have fun. Exactly. That's I'm gonna sit I'm it. sitting in the in the cut. I'm gonna be in the cut and nah, you can't, behind wait, 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 all wait. the DJs. Shout out to Vito cut, is though. spinning. Fat shout out to Vito. That's the that's the big bro. Right there. Is, he, Vito is quiet tonight. Yeah, Vito yeah. have nothing to say about Vito, what's up, Vito? What's 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 happening, man? Huh? What's happening, Vito? International V. Are you willing to share your money? Your woman. Yo, yeah. Of course. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Man, I can't I save just... money, so that's all I do. Man, hold this for me. I can't. Oh, that's so good that you're open like that. No, that's because good. I know if I keep it, it's gone. Yep. It's over. And, and See, me too. Yeah, I need. Over. I I know that whoever I'm with, like here, like right, invest exactly. it. Yep. Do this. Give me a budget, and that's, and that's understanding the money personality, yeah. right? So, so, so it won't work though, right? So, so if he winds up, you know, dating somebody or being with with somebody who also likes to spend money, then it's not going to work at all. Right? They gonna be exactly they gonna yeah, be broke. Uh, so, so that money personality has to match. It has to be somebody you're attracted to, somebody who has a different money personality that than you. Trust. you. Exactly, that and you that trust. trust. All of those things kind of going together, and that's what's gonna make a healthy relationship. Because what's gonna happen when he blows money, she blows money? Guess what's gonna happen? They're gonna start blaming each other for blowing money, and then right. man, you're not a man, you're not a woman. Right, it's gonna, gonna be like oh, you know, wow. you bought this. Well, you shouldn't have bought that, and uh, you know what I mean? Like, wow. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about this book. This is Ash's new book. Like, what the FICO? What the FICO? Okay, yep. so my little story. I was uh, well, I don't remember where I was working, but it, it, it was I was on fifty. I want to say fifty fifth Street on on the east side, Lexington, and I bump into Susie Orman. Nice. And I guess this is at the the height of like I think she's on Oprah or just got on Oprah or something like that, and you know just excited to meet her because she's Susie Orman. And I'm like, oh my goodness! And we're talking. She and she's really cool. Yeah. Like she is a down to earth person. So we're talking. I'm talking about my credit score or whatever. And she goes, oh, eh, it's not so great, but you can get it up. You know, her <laughs> right, little. right, right. So she's, do you have a boyfriend? I'm like, yeah. And you know, I was. She was like, did you fight him? And I said, what? No. <laughs> and she goes, did you? And she said the f word. Right. Yeah, she did. Wow. And I said, yeah, I did. And she goes, so you effed him, but you didn't FICO him. Wow. And I was like, oh. She was like, yeah, don't worry. You won't be with him long. And sure enough, I wasn't. What the FICO? What What the the FICO? FICO? 
So uh, what's the FICO? For right. those who don't understand yeah. what a FICO so, score so is. So FICO is, is your score, right? So FICO, yeah. it, it, it actually stands for Fair Isaac Corporation. Mm -hmm. So this is the, the uh, organization that comes up with the, the scale of how they're going to judge your, your credit. So uh, it's broken down into five things, your payment history, you know, um, your how long you had credit, your usage, mm -hmm. any new credit you have, you know, your credit mix. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and what FICO does, it, it reports to, you know, the three major uh, credit bureaus, which is Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, um, and and what and what it does is just really kind of says what your your um, credit worthiness is. How how much are you you know credit worthy? Are you going to pay back your you know your obligations if somebody lent you money? Is there out of the three, which is there one that's like more important than the others? No. So so. Not, what happens is this, right? When you, a lot of times, not all um, lenders use all three. So sometimes you might go to a bank and let's say they might only use TransUnion. So they might be only pulling your TransUnion, your TransUnion score and might have some other internal way where they come up with, you know, some, some, you know, rating thing to see if you're a good risk or not. Or somebody else might use Experian or somebody else might, might use Equifax. Mm -hmm. When you do a mortgage, actually, um, you know, the mortgage company takes all three, but they I'm pull sure your they middle, do. they take your middle score so if let's say you had a 520 or let's say it's six, you had a 620 630 640 mm -hmm. they're going to take that 630 no matter who it's from they're taking that middle Why? score because it's the average of the three scores oh, you know so okay. so, it, so they don't necessarily add it and you know do the way the average is but they'll take the middle score of whatever you know whatever the scores are so why aren't all three exact like why are they all different because because you know let's say for instance you know i, I buy you know I, I take out a loan at at chase and chase only reports to two credit bureaus, or they're only reporting to one credit bureau. So they're gonna, they're, there are gonna be things that are on one credit bureau that's not, that's on, the not other, on the other, you know, because not all your creditors are gonna report to everybody. And that's why they don't let you, like, when you apply to certain things, they don't let you bring it yourself because you pick the better one. Exactly. You like, oh, let me, let exactly. me get the Equifax because nothing else is on there, and you know, right, exactly, oh. exactly. So they, so they'll, they'll pull it themselves because whoever they, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna use, um, and then that's why it's important that each year you pull your credit report from all three credit bureaus, right? So I, I see a lot of people, you know, say, oh, I'm going to check my credit, I'm going to check my credit, and they go to one, you know, uh, you know, one one agency. I, I'm going to check it with Equifax. But, you know, you don't know if wherever you're going to apply, they're going to check it at different places. Right. Um, and you actually get a free credit report each year from all three credit bureaus. So if you go to annualcreditreport.com, you're entitled to one free credit report each year. Okay. So you can go there, you can pull it from each, you know, all three credit bureaus and, you know, check your score and make sure, right? There's a lot of identity theft and stuff going on. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you're in good, you know, credit help. Now, when you have people that they're in the this um, credit repair business is like huge. Yep. And I do have like close people that, know how to write the letters and get stuff off. Why is it some stuff can come off and some stuff can't? Okay. Um, a couple of things. So I, so I write, I, I write about, you know, my credit that repair in the people. Book? Yeah. My credit oh, okay. repair people are not going to really like this, but you know, I talk about that. I think that, you know, the reason why people go to credit repair people are because they're lazy because mm. all the credit repair people are doing are writing the letters that you could write yourself. Um, but what happens is that I think that, and, and, and I'll, and I'll give one, one of the tips is that, um, a lot of times people go to the Internet and pull Internet, um, you know, uh, dispute letters and they send it out to the credit bureaus. Right. Um, and what happens, though, is that if you take an Internet template, what the, what the credit bureaus do, because they get so many disputes, what they do is they use this system called OOSCAR, which is a which is a, a electronic system that scans your letter through. So if it looks like an Internet template. They're gonna they're gonna di they're gonna discount your claim and say it's frivolous, right? Oh. And that's the the key. I, so I write this in the book that take the extra step and handwrite all your letters. Or I mean, if you need a template, look at it and but then, then rewrite it your own way. Physically go and rewrite it exactly. your own way until okay. Exactly because wow. because that's what happens is that if you're sending everybody these letters and it looks you know they they could say it's, it's frivolous. You're not being serious. You're just trying to get one over and mm -hmm. then they're gonna they're gonna deny your claim. So it's important that you can handwrite it. You can rewrite it in your own your own words. But you know send out those letters if you see mistakes on there. You know, you, you have to be able to, to, you know, send those letters and get those things taken off your credit report. Okay, so they're only mistakes. There, there aren't things that 
are on there should be on there, but maybe like the time is lapsing. Oh, no, absolutely. That that's that's a, that's actually there's actually ways, and y'all didn't hear this from me. There's actually ways, yeah. right? You better be listening. <laughs> but you didn't hear this from me. There's, there's actually ways that you can take stuff that you've actually done, take it off your credit, right? So here's two things. Two things is that um, you. I ha- feel like I feel like I'm gonna get like the real like the in depth behind the scenes yeah, no, after get, we off the camp. <laughs> no, I, no, I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you the, the step by step. But but here here's here's one thing, right? One thing is that anything that's negative or in collections stays on your credit for seven years, right? Okay. Public record, um, bankruptcies, th- things like that stay judgments. ten years. Judgments, judgments stay ten years, right? Okay. But let's say, for instance, you know, you take out a card with Macy's and you don't pay Macy's back. Macy's sells your information to ABC Collection Agency. Right. ABC Collection Agency tries to collect, then they sell it to DEF Collection Agency. Then they sell it to Ash Cash a- Agency. So they keep bouncing it around. What happens a lot of times, though, is that the collection agencies don't reset the date. Right. So if you took it out, we're in 2013. So if you took it out in 2000, anything that you took out in 2006 should not be on your credit report right now. Right. So if you had a bad debt that would that became delinquent. Right. So it's seven years from the first delinquency. If it became delinquent in 2006, if it's if, if it's August 2007, 2013, you took it out August 2006. By the end of August 2013, it does not exist anymore. People hurry up and look at your credit. Exactly. Hurry but what up, happens, like like to like tomorrow, like right. order all of them and look. Wow. And, but see, what happens though is that the credit agencies sell it to each other. So credit agency, the last credit agency that got it, says, you know what, I'm gonna report it as of 2009 or 2010. So now they just added another, you know, four or five years onto this. So that's why you have to make sure, and this is the other secret, and this is how you can get negative things off your credit report, is that you have something called method of verification, which means that if there's something on your credit report, you have the right to ask the collection person to show you the original document that you sign saying that you took out this debt. So you have to verify that I took out this debt. They, and they have to go back. And they have to go back. Not, Macy's is not in the collection business. So nine times out of ten, Macy's, they're not going to have your they're – not, they're not even going to entertain the collection agency, right? Mm-hmm. So a lot of times, even some stuff that's negative that you actually did – and again, I'm not promoting you, to, you know, but some things that you might, like might that. have actually d- done – you can actually send out these. I mean, letters things and, happen. Yeah, you know, course, things yeah. happen, and you know? things happen, and you still you need. Uh, the reality is, people need to live their lives. Absolutely. You know, and and we would hope that the next time after having this this book, after getting the support and cleaning everything up, that the next time you would take the proper responsible steps so you don't go down that route. But there are. Some people that live in this society that get a nice break. Yep. And there are things that we don't know about, we're not informed of, you know, especially as people of of color. And, you know, we keep doing, like, repetitive stuff and don't get a break to maybe learn. Right. And grow from our mistakes. And so every once in a while, it's, you know, if you can get something taken off, yeah, take it off. Just don't go out and And do the same things that got you. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You know. You know, create that budget and, you know, just just be more responsible with your credit the next time around. Okay, so is this this book uh, a step-by-step how to, like... I don't know what to do, so I get this book and I can do it for myself. You can do it exactly for yourself. So I, I even what go. What if I still want to come to you? What if I want to get the book, but I still want you to please help me? No, absolutely. This? I mean, you you can come to me, and I, and I, and I think I you know I explain that in the book is that you know afterwards if you read the book and you don't have time or you want you want right. to do it you know yourself, there are a lot of free ways to do it, right? So there are a lot of you know nonprofit organizations. So like I said, I run a credit union in Queens, and we have financial counselors that can actually sit with you and come up with you know with plans and help you, you know, do these things. So, you know, if you read it and you don't want to do it, you know, do it yourself. I don't want to. Yeah, there's ways. There's ways I for know, us to, I know you my know. weaknesses. Yeah. I do. You know, I, and, I know. and and again, <laughs> I, I think that the first step is to find the most economical way. Mm. I mean, don't only pay the credit repair people because a, a lot of the credit repair people actually do illegal things too, right? Mm. So I'll give you an example, right? So... I, you know, you come to me, I'm a credit repair, you know, specialist, and I say, you know, give me a thousand dollars. Or you trying to buy a car, give me a thousand dollars and I'll and I'll I'll get your credit score up a hundred points. 
You're like, what? 100 points? So now, so what I do, you give me the $1,000, and you have other people who told you, oh, yeah, he did it. He's the truth. He does this, da, 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 right? Mm -hmm. You give me $1,000, and all I do is I write dispute letters to, to every, every single negative thing you have on your account. I write a dispute letter to, right? Okay. By law... Anything that's that's disputed cannot be counted against your 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 uh, credit score, right? So let's say you have five derogatories on your on your credit report, and I send letters to all five of them, and I say that you didn't do it. This is a mistake. So while they're investigating, these five negative things come off of your credit report. They don't and count towards your score. So time. it boosts up your credit score so you go get your bins and you go to you do whatever and once the uh you know the credit agencies figure out that no you did you did do this your credit score shoots right back down and your g is gone and your g is gone right so a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of unscrupulous things that they do so just be careful you know i'm not saying all credit repair there are some legitimate you know lawyers and type you know these these companies out there that do legitimately fix your credit just be careful at you know that you you're, you're careful about your, what you're dishing out your money for. So I I would rather you know go to the you know the you know New York City you know Office of Financial Empowerment or or come to me the East River Development Alliance Federal Credit Union like come you know come to us and we can actually help you you know for free no money wow. we can help you. Fix okay, your credit, so yeah, you know? so that's the next thing. So how Out can people? First. How, okay, how can people buy the book? Yep. How can people find you? Yep. How can people come to you? Where are you every day? Number two one two seven one eight. No, I'm not doing all that. But <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not doing all that. But you know, de definitely, you know, you, you, you my, my website. You know, I am Ashcash dot com. Okay. Um, you know, all of my books. You know, I have My Right, Money Right, Taylor's yeah. Way, What the FICO um, are available on. You know, Amazon dot com, Barnes and Nobles dot com. Um, you know, I have an audio book coming out very, very soon for What the FICO for those who drive or who want. You know, who don't have time to read. Nice. Um, but yeah, you can definitely check me out. I'm everywhere though. If you, go I'm Googleable. I don't know if that's a word or not, Google but I'm, I'm Googleable. So if you Google <laughs> Ash Cash, you you will find me. You will find everything. You will find my Twitter. My website, my Instagram, my Facebook, my baby pictures. Oh, <laughs> no, I, just I, love <laughs> I love it. Oh, the children's book is called Taylor's Way. Um, Taylor's Way: Life Lessons Learned Through the Eyes of a Three-Year-Old. Love and, it. Yeah, and, that, and that's about my daughter. My daughter changed my life, right? So mm -hmm. when when my daughter was born, she lived life, and all kids, all kids live life the way life is supposed to be lived, right? right? But what happens is as we get older, we scare life out of them. We tell them, don't do this because of that. Don't do this because of that. So when, when my daughter was three years old, I sat there and watched my daughter. She was fearless. She did everything. So she did, she lived life, right? She, okay. she, she got what she want when she wanted it, and not because we gave it to her, because she just didn't know anything else, right? right? right. And there were, there, were, there were 15 lessons that I learned from my daughter, and I said, you know what? I'm going to pin this book together awesome and you know so we so we wrote a we wrote a book my three-year-old and i wrote a book I called it. taylor's way life lessons um life lessons through the eyes of a three-year-old harvard yeah you know harvard she's harvard. Harvard. hey she got, <laughs> she's starting to make her money right now exactly exactly I love exactly. it cool okay so going back to our relationships you, you know, well, hey, it's the reality <laughs> of love and like I, I, you all have put just a different perspective um, in terms of money, it, yeah, in in my in my mind. I mean, I guess I guess because I'm not in a relationship, I'm not sharing. It's all about me right now. Yep. But I do believe in people first and money second. Mm -hmm. You know, and and just that being said, it is it should be someone that you trust. Absolutely. You know, if I, if I trust you enough to lay with you, I'm gonna trust you with my money, exactly. and my money is gonna like keep me and well, us alive. So, right. but. What advice would you give to a new couple um, that want to take, you know, the next step or the re responsible, committed step? Mm -hmm. What are some questions that you would put down that they should ask each other or go in together and ask a financial planner? Yep. So I think that, you know, just like Susie Orman said, I think you guys need to know where do you stand from a financial standpoint. So um, you have to look at money habits. So, you know, what is this person's FICO score? Does this person have debts and collections and things of that nature, right? Um, you have to you have to understand, you know, what 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 is your money personality? Are you a spender? Are you a saver? Are, are, are you a combination of both? Mm -hmm. um, I think you need to understand that going into the relationship 
you know, before you become committed, because, you know, when you're dating is cool because y'all have that independent space. Right. But as you come together, if, you know, there's no common ground or, or not even common ground, if you don't understand uh, that person. So I think it's important that you guys have to sit down and come up with a budget together. Okay. Right. And wh whether it's saying, you know, this is, you know, we're not ready to put our money together yet. Right. Because we're still dating. But, you know, maybe kind of setting limits on what type of stuff you you guys going to do. What's the you know, what's sort of like that budget where, you know, uh, are we doing Philippe Charles or are we doing you know, BBQs. Okay. We have to kind of set that up at the outset and not be ashamed of it. You know, okay. not not be ashamed and say, oh, I don't want to ask her this because she might think I'm about her money or mm -hmm. she might think that I'm I'm being cheap. No, you. we need to understand. We need to set the what parameters. What life are we going to live exactly. to get to our goals? Exactly. And, so and I think that's very important also is that you must, 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 must understand what are you, your, your partner, what are their financial goals. If they don't have financial goals, run. Okay, so why, uh, one, why? Mm -hmm. Explain what the, what do you mean by that? What does that look like yep. and why? Yep. And s do, do financial goals come before life goals or do they go hand in hand? So what do you mean by run? Like yep. what does that look like if right. that person doesn't have it? What if so, you ask the person and they're like, oh, I don't know. Are they bad? Are they just ignorant? Are they unsafe? Like, why? Why would you ask that? So, so, here, so here's the thing, right? So there's, there's just levels. Like, there's nothing wrong with not being on the same, on, on a different level than somebody. Doesn't okay. mean you're better than that person. Mm -hmm. Just means that there's different levels, right? So if I am dating someone and I am about entrepreneurship, if I'm like, I want to take three weeks and go to the Hamptons, right? If that's a financial goal of mine, if I'm saying that I love the, the, the good life and I want to take three weeks and live in the Hamptons. And this person is saying the Hamptons. No, I want to work nine to five and I want to I want to work for a state job and, and get a pension. Because if I work after 20 years, I'm so I'm secure with 80 with 80 thousand dollars. Right. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a good life. I know people who work corrections and post office. They have awesome lives. Right. Right. But. That's not the same goal. Yeah. There's there's a there's a big conflict. If this person says that I want to spend three weeks in the Hamptons, that means they need to make Hampton money, and that means that other person needs to be on that same sort of path, that length, right? So so it's important that the the financial goals have to be there. Is this person just trying to survive, or is this person just trying to live? You know, you have to be able to say that because what's going to happen is you're going to outgrow that person. If I am super duper ambitious, if I'm like I need to like 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 my wife and, and I, my daughter, we just went to Martha's Vineyard right for a week, right? We just went to Martha's Vineyard and we had an awesome time. Mm -hmm. And you know what my wife said? She yeah. said we need to do this every year. Mm -hmm. Right. So now we're planning for it to do it every year because we're on that same wave. Right. So we're, okay. we understand, you know, it, it's 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 a financial goal and we're moving in the same direction. You cannot, you know, it's 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 like you, you remember you remember back in the day when you were paying, uh, playing. What's that thing with the, the, the potato sack? When you when you yes. got the sack and you're running together, yes. imagine yes. you're playing that game and you're going left and, and I'm person, going right. right. No, we're gonna fall each time. Absolutely right. And that's, or or I, I um another example someone was telling me is like you're holding each other's hands. One person is walking and the others on their knees. Right. And absolutely, and that's what happens when you don't right. have financial goals. Wow. You have to have the same financial goal. We have to be moving at the same pace. We have to be hopping that sack together. Like we we out we out right. here, right? We got to. If you love me, give me an EBT pen. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Cute face. I'm, 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 I'm done. <laughs> I'm talking, give you my pen. He talking about you EBT pens. Pen. And... Give me the pen. Code. All right, all right. Wow. And child support. <laughs> so I mean, but. I mean, that's, real, real that's reality. Weird. That's yeah, yeah. reality. Absolutely. That's, Absolutely. that's where some of us are. Yep. So, okay. Love so, them. financial goals. If, if, so, if you have to have a financial goal. It could be small. And don't feel ashamed. Cause, Absolutely not. Because shame is bad. Exactly. Shame is like cancer. If you're if you're ashamed, yep. then, you know, that you need to kind of question the relationship. Exactly. Altogether. Exactly. Because okay. you need to be comfortable in that. And that's why I, always, I actually say that you always should be friends mm. before you become lovers because... 
And that way you will have a mutual respect for that person. If you go into a relationship trying to make it a relationship, I think that's the biggest fail. Because what's going to happen is that you never really got to know that person. Because all you were trying to do was impress that person from the start. They were mm -hmm. trying to press you from the start. So when y'all, there's no real intimacy. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of the day, if you are friends first, right? If I respect you as a person and I respect you as a friend, I want to see the best thing for, for you. you. Absolutely. Right? So, so, so my needs in a relationship doesn't come first. My, our friendship comes first. So I want to make sure that you're and good. And it's the bigger picture. It's like, the bigger picture. I'm going to fight it's for the cause. It's 22 with cause. that, man. Sometimes you're friends you and, and you knew I was a dog back then. It's, it's going to be kind of <laughs> difficult <laughs> Not, but, for you to believe right. that I didn't but no, but just that's switch a good, your room. Oh, and that's a, a good topic. Born again you going to remember that one, Vito? <laughs> we got to remember that one for next week. Yeah, we again, we are like, we're running out. Q face on your life. Twitter, Facebook, shout out all your stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, IamAshCash.com. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitter.com slash IamAshCash. Become my friend on Facebook, Facebook.com slash IamAshCash. Instagram, Instagram.com slash IamAshCash. IamAshCash. Yep. Googleable. I'm Googleable. <laughs> Take talk to us where they can find you. Find me on his page. Just find me <laughs> on his page. It's Indie Online on Instagram. It's Indie on Twitter. Indie Smith on Facebook. And thanks for another week. This was awesome. We got great information. That's out the Global Veto. That's the that's the yes. only man. Yes, he just gave Global Veto H H <laughs> is his uh Instagram and Global Veto is his Twitter. No, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Global Vito is his Instagram. Global Vito HH is his Twitter. Heavy right? hitters. Heavy hitters. Out of the now we have. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week, y'all. Shout out to Lenny Green. Lenny. We definitely missed you, but we got great information. Thank you so much, Appreciate Dave. you. Thank you so much for having me. We're about to talk right. behind the scenes. Yeah, right? now let's I'm, do it. I'm going to pick your brain. Yep, let's do it. See you next week. <laughs>